Emily dreams of standing at the Eiffel Tower and discussing her dilemma regarding whether to work for both Madeline and Sylvie. When she wakes up from this dream, it turns out she's working for both of them. Emily feels she cannot quit, as it would entail telling a pregnant Madeline that she would prefer to work for Sylvie. Madeline learns the truth from Luke, and later that evening, she interrupts a business dinner at the Eiffel Tower, where Sylvie's new company is making a pitch to a prospective client, one of Emily's contacts. Madeline's water breaks, and she is taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Sylvie fires Emily, who arrives late to the farewell party she planned for Alfie. After seeing her hesitation about their relationship, Alfie says goodbye and gets in a cab, leaving Emily alone. Madeline gives birth to a baby boy named Jack, and Emily tries to prove her loyalty. They meet with one of Savoir's clients, but Sylvie also arrives. Madeline informs them that they can't take Savoir's clients due to a non-compete clause in their contracts, putting Sylvie's new company in jeopardy, as that means their only remaining client would be Pierre Cadeau. Emily finds out Alfie is now working for Antoine as his new CFO, but chooses not to tell Madeline. Emily and Luke convince Madeline to rehire Sylvie as Savoir's president. Sylvie refuses only to immediately discover she has no clients, as Pierre Cadeau has sold his company to the luxury conglomerate JVMA, which handles their marketing in-house. Later, JVMA contacts Sylvie, offering her a position with the company, which includes allowing her to bring along her staff, but she declines after discussing it with Luc and Julien. On solstice night in Paris, Emily takes Mindy's microphone and sings to Alfie to show how much she cares about him, leading to a reconciliation between the two. Sylvie is threatened with eviction by her landlord as she has been using her apartment as an office. With Luke's help, she speaks with the building manager of the Savoir building to force Madeline and Emily to leave. Mindy feels nervous about performing in a club and discovers that having sex with Benoit helps. Camille and Gabrielle have been encountering issues since she moved in, and with Alfie's help, they share a romantic dinner at the restaurant. After the elevator and heat in the Savoir building are sabotaged, Madeleine tells Emily that the Gilbert group has approved them to leave the building and work at her hotel. The following day, Emily discovers Madeleine plans to return to Chicago and has also bought a plane ticket for her. Emily tells Madeleine she wishes to stay in Paris and resigns from her position. The episode ends with Sylvie and her team returning to their old building and establishing a new company named Gratou, and Emily walking out of Madeleine's hotel after saying goodbye. After becoming unemployed, Emily starts vlogging around Paris, needing to stay busy. Meanwhile, she is hired temporarily as a waitress at Gabriel's restaurant, but after she accidentally causes a client to have an allergic reaction due to her limited but improved French, she is fired by Gabriel, making her realize this is not the right situation for her. Luc and Julien tell Sylvie they used Emily's ideas for a customer, making her uncomfortable. However, after speaking with Camille's mother, she feels encouraged to seek out and rehire Emily. Camille feels guilty for not respecting her pact with Emily, and an artist named Sophia at the art gallery shows romantic interest in her. Emily is dealing with her work visa application as she fears being deported and does her best to promote Grato. Alfie gets a new apartment and has a housewarming party, where Emily sees Camille kissing Sophia on the rooftop. Nicholas from JVMA and Mindy see each other and turn out to be old boarding schoolmates, making Benoit jealous as Nicholas is interested in Mindy. Emily shares what she saw on the rooftop with Mindy, but Mindy suggests she should not get involved, as she was previously blamed for the breakup between Camille and Gabriel. Mindy is about to perform with Benoit for the first time when she receives flowers from Nicholas, causing Benoit to break up with her. Emily appears on La Liste along with Gabriel, which upsets Sylvie. Emily travels with Gabriel and Alfie to Antoine's Bastide in Bonneu province to seal a deal. Alfie and Emily are invited by Gabriel to a restaurant he wants to visit, but Antoine makes Alfie cancel at the last minute. Emily feels uncomfortable after the meal when the waiter considers them a couple. Laurent arrives upsetting Eric, who leaves for Paris. 
That night, Sylvie and Laurent are attacked by bees and escape by stripping and jumping into a pool where they end up having sex. Emily discovers that a mistake ruined most of Antoine's perfume, juice. She suggests that the good batch be released as a limited edition to maximize profits, which Antoine agrees to after hesitating. Camille continues her affair with Sophia, who invites her back to Greece. Camille declines, claiming she still loves Gabriel. Sophia responds that it is possible to love more than one person. After the event, Alfie asks Emily for the receipt for the lunch to expense it, but she remembers the staff complimenting her and Gabriel as a couple, so she lies and claims not to have it. Emily and Alfie leave for Paris in the limited edition McLaren that Antoine bought. Mindy is invited by Nicholas to watch How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days at a park, and she invites Emily and Gabriel since Alfie is in London and Camille is in Greece with Sophia. Nicholas struggles to work with Pierre Cadeau because they have different ideas, and Emily offers Grato's help as Pierre is uncomfortable with JVMA. Emily and Gabriel leave the movie as a friend of Nicholas starts hitting on them. They enter a balloon exhibition where they continue to have fun while taking pictures. At the night's end, Gabriel shares with Emily how his relationship with Camille is falling apart. Mindy and Nicholas admit they both like each other and share a kiss. Nicholas calls Emily and shares with Grateau that he plans on firing Pierre and replacing him with Gregory Elliot Dupré whom Pierre despises, and hopes they relay the news to Pierre. Emily tries at the last minute to stop Pierre from joining them for lunch, but as he is crossing the street, he is hit by a motorbike taxi. Pierre recovers in the hospital after his accident, while Grateau cannot tell him about his firing. Nicholas plans to announce Grégory Elio Dupré as the new face of Pierre Cadeau during a new store opening, even though Emily asks him to wait for Pierre to get out of the hospital out of respect. Sylvie meets with Nicholas's father, Louis, Sylvie's former boss, and asks him to delay the announcement. Louis abused his power when Sylvie worked for him. Upset about the meeting, Nicholas claims he will not change his mind. Gabriel calls Emily, saying that he needs a friend and that he thinks Camille will break up with him after seeing pictures of her partying with other men in Greece. Gabriel also confesses he still loves Emily. Sylvie and Emily break the news about JVMA, replacing Pierre with Grégory. Emily has an idea, make people believe Pierre has died so he can appear at the event and announce he will continue his work without JVMA, which embarrasses the De Leon family. The next day, Emily finds Gabriel happy, as he says that Camille is back from Greece and everything is fine between them. Alfie returns from London, and Emily is disappointed that he didn't mention their relationship to his family. Grato's new client is a romance company, suggesting a couple get engaged in a public way and get paid. Julien is annoyed by Emily's interference, but Sylvie dismisses his claims. Laurent is away, but surprises Sylvie by attending their date at the opera. Gabriel offers to propose to Camille and asks Antoine for help in the restaurant. Camille and Gabrielle get engaged, and Emily proposes a new idea using hot air balloons. Nicholas prepares a party for Mindy, and Emily asks to make amends with him. Alfie confesses he hadn't told his family about her, and they decide to make their relationship public. Gabriel renames his restaurant after his grandmother Gigi, who dislikes Camille. Emily wants Gabriel to earn a Michelin star for the restaurant, so Luke contacts his ex, Marianne, a food critic, to taste the food and provide the star. Alfie tells Mindy about Nicholas kicking Emily out of her party, and she speaks to Nicholas about the need for a sacrifice for a future together. Sylvie is informed by Laurent that he wants to open a club in Paris with Louis de Lyon, Nicholas's father. Julien gets upset when Emily gets involved in a campaign idea, yells at her, and walks away. Mindy and Nicholas plan to attend Gabriel's and Camille's engagement party, but Benoit arrives and submits a song for her to the Eurovision Song Contest. Gabriel and Camille decide to get married at the party, and everyone gathers for the ceremony. Camille interrupts Gabriel during his vows, saying she knows he loves Emily and broke a pact she made with her not to pursue him. She also announces that she is pregnant. Alfie breaks up with Emily, suspecting something is going on between them and that he will not be her second choice.